Welcome back guys to another Minecraft video where today we're going to be going over the advanced storage network add-on on Bedrock Edition. So let's get into the video. The advanced storage network add-on was made by JPBM. This add-on adds blocks that allow you to store millions of items easily without having a giant laggy chest monster. It also allows you to find your items within a matter of seconds. Yep, you got that right. Within a matter of seconds you can find any item that you have stored in your storage room. Oh, I broke the roof. Oh, The almighty ice cream sandwich is here to guide us. Wait, what, what, what happened to the boat? Uh, hold up, that, that should have never happened. <laughs> so basically this book will show you everything you need for this add-on. Uh, let's see, sincerely it can't be too hard to read, right? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, never mind, the sandwich was useless. Bruh, throw this thing in the trash can, bruh. Get a lava bucket, this thing is useless. <laughs> Load of crap this thing does. You know what, instead I will tell you how this add-on works and I'll do it and make it much easier to understand than that dumb book. Have you ever wanted to store all your items in three blocks? Well with this add-on you can store most of your items in these three blocks here. The storage drive, the storage uh, core, and then the storage interface. As you see it's like a chest, you can store things in it. A lot of items you could take things out and there's also some other cool features like uh, looking through all the storage inside it there's also a search feature where you could just search for all your items in here look at that you could search for your chest and there, there you go you have a chest you can also store all your items in it so first I want to explain what this uh, system is what are these three blocks that are in front of us this block right here is a storage core. It's an item that is needed for the system to work. The next item is a storage interface. This thing up here is an interface. Basically, it's used to access all your items. But you'll see if you try to use it right now, that you can use it, but you can't store items in it. <laughs> all your items are stored into these things called storage drives. So you need the storage drive to store your items. So once you have the storage interface and the storage core, you just place these drives next to it. You can connect as many of these as you want. These storage drives basically store the items. Items that are stored inside your storage system will take up these things called bytes. As you see right now, there's zero bytes in there, but if I was to put oak planks in here, it would then take up 30 bytes. However, this is where it gets confusing. If I was to store oak planks in there again, we now have twice as many oak planks, so we would expect it to take up 60 bytes, right? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, but as you saw there, that is not the case. New items take up more bytes than items that are already in there. So now we can basically store a ridiculous amount of oak planks in there without taking up hardly any bytes. Now let's go over some crafting materials that you will need. You will need a storage interface, a storage core, and a storage drive. You need to craft all these things up to actually use this storage system. And to craft all this, you will need all these uh, materials right here. Have you ever wanted to bring your storage along with you and go explore the world? Introducing the Portable Storage Network. If you place it down, you can store your stuff in it and then you can break it and it will store all your items inside this thing called a storage disk. And then you can go around the world and bring your storage anywhere you would like. If you want to put your storage disk back in, shift click it on the side over here and you will see that your items are back inside the storage. And there you go, you can now bring your storage along with you anywhere you want. Wonderful. Now there is a one downside of doing this and the downside is if you were to accidentally throw this storage disk in lava or I don't know die with it. Oh no! I lost all my dirt bruh! 
<laughs> yep, uh, that's why I don't really recommend you store a lot of items in this thing. I'm going to show you another way that you can do this that is a more effective way and uh, a way that you can do this without your stuff uh, being lost whenever you die in lava. Now, using this item called a wireless transmitter and putting it on top of our core, we can then set up a uh, wireless interface. Yep. So using this item called a wireless interface, we shift click it onto our core and then it says wireless storage interface link. Now we can basically use our storage anywhere. Now the difference between this and the portable storage is it's simple. It's like an ender chest. So the items are not stored in the actual wireless uh, storage interface. I know that sounds confusing. Even though you're using it to input items into it and take items out, the items are not stored directly into the wireless storage interface. Also, you can go as far as you want away from your storage and still store items in there. It's pretty cool. As you see, I can still uh, store items in here. Now, if we were to accidentally die... Oh no, we lost our wireless uh, uh, remote thingy. <laughs> well, if we were to get ourselves another wireless storage interface, and then go ahead and uh, shift click it onto the core. I mean, no, not shift click, left click. If we were to left click it on here, we then have access to all our items still. So this works exactly the same as the portable storage, but the items are not stored directly in our inventory. Automatically putting things into and out of our storage. So let's imagine you have a chest here with a piece of dirt. So the question is, how would we get this piece of dirt from this chest into our storage room without putting it in there ourselves? Well, it's quite simple actually. We'd use this thing called an import bus and storage cables. So face the import bus uh, toward that chest and then use the cables and direct them to our storage system. It can connect to anything on our storage. And as you see, who the hell is that? <laughs> Why is Hitler joining our game, bruh? Basically using the import bus we can, and the cables, we can transfer items into, he took our piece of dirt. What happened to the dirt, bruh? Oh. I, I'm so sorry, bruh. Uh, I probably just lost a friend there. This import bus takes items out, and the cables are basically like transfer thingies. They transfer items. Uh, import buses take items out, and then uh, you can use export buses to put items back in. So, if we were to use this export bus, and then uh, set up a filter, we have to click on it with the dirt. Now it's filtering only dirt. Put it back in our system. Now it will take all the dirt out of our system and put it into this chest. Now you can also set up the cables to be as far as possible. So uh, like I said, these cables are just for transferring the items. So you, you can have some extravagant systems. So you don't have to put these like in a straight line. As you see, if I was to put dirt in there, it would take the dirt out. Nice. And we would have like a sicka cable system. Now, what if you didn't want to have this annoying cable system? You didn't want a super long cable system going forever. Let's imagine it was like all the way over here. And we didn't want to set up a huge amount of cables to basically uh, put items into our storage system. We would need a thing called a relay. Yep, a storage relay. Place your relay right here and name it whatever you want. We're going to name it Bob. We will go back over here. We put this here. And then we got to name this other storage relay Bob. So once these things are connected, this relay has to be connected to the storage and the other one has to be connected to the import bus, which is taking items out of this chest. 
So now all the items that are being taken out of this chest will be wirelessly transferred to our storage room. Look at that bro, all our items are already there. And we didn't have to set up too much of a hassle. So that's the end of this video ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a little like and subscribe, that's the end of the uh, showcase of the advanced storage system add-on. Please go download it and show support for the creator. Uh, JBM, wait is that correct? Did I say it? Did I butcher the name again? <laughs> Yeah, J J P B M. Yep, J P B M. Go, uh, go download the add-on right now. Goodbye, gamer. I am a hundreds. YouTube channel.